This is probably one of the most common questions I get asked, especially when I play my paladins a lot. Why are your icons blue? I think deep down the question is, how can I change that too? A lot of people probably don't know that this is actually insanely easy to do. Blizzard like gives you the full reins to do this type of modification of the game. And this is easily within the scope of what many add-ons might be already doing. The problem is if you have nothing to start with, doing it entirely on your own is probably completely out of the scope of your understanding. So I haven't really made a video on that up until this point because I felt like I didn't have an easy way to explain where you should start. If you're not aware, in BFA, I started changing the icons of the game to match the ones that I liked better from the Warcraft 3 remaster. And ever since then, I've been dabbling in it. So then when Shadowlands announced and I knew Kyrian Paladin was going to absolutely be where I played my old main and now still my favorite class in the game, I felt like kind of the fiery, more pink color of a lot of the spells just didn't really fit in with divine toll and the overall theme of this zone so i said let's go ahead and alter all the core spells of the paladin class to be a little bit more representative of that kind of regal grandeur that the Kyrian represent so as you see here ret has quite a few of them altered but let me show you exactly how to do this and what the process of it might be so for whatever reason blizzard just allows you to override their default paths for any type of art that lays on top of the game so obviously you can't change the animations of your spells but anything that you're interfacing with in the ui you should be able to alter those no problem i also use a custom raid frame texture which many of you guys might have noticed over the years as well but what we're talking today is the icons so it's as easy as knowing the icon path that you want to change and inputting the proper file type into a folder named icons and it will then read that icon instead of the default one simple as that obviously it's a little bit more complicated than that though so let me tell you exactly how how to do everything you see here. First of all, you need to navigate to your World of Warcraft folder. In case you don't know how to do that or where it is, you can simply go to the launcher and press the options button and then there'll be this game settings. You can click that and then here it'll have the install location. You can just copy and paste that in to any file browser and it'll automatically open up the folder which WoW has. Now the file structure for WoW has changed a lot over the years, but you should be able to navigate towards retail. You could also do this for any other version of WoW, literally anything even from the original one point x client will operate this exact same way with icons but we come here and go to interface and here is where you need a new folder called icons and this is all about understanding the path and file structure that wow reads from so i'm not exactly sure how anybody would know this maybe blizzard at some point told people this but you could literally replace every single ui texture in the game as long as you know the path and the name of the icon that it's reading you can make an icon folder as long as it reads icons that's all you need just needs to be in this interface interface folder and then you can start from there it depends on what your ambitions are if you simply want to just change a single icon you don't have that much work ahead of you if you're just looking to do that on wowhead you can type in wowhead.com slash icons and you will have a list of every single icon a world of warcraft shadowlands has to feature i'm sure there's a ptr version as well for when new stuff gets added but there's also classic and tbc versions as well that you could also look at if you're really interested in that but i propose an alternative solution to this and this is how i ultimately got into doing this myself that can be a I was looking at this graphic UI mod section of the WoW interface website. Scrolling through here, I found a lot of people doing some nice alterations to the base game. All I really wanted was something that I've been seeing done in Pokemon fan games for a long time. Basically upscaling the resolution and smoothing the edges of it. In the Pokemon games, obviously it's the sprites and characters that are in the game, but in WoW, it could have been the icons. And of course, lo and behold, we found somebody who had already been doing it. This is really all you need to see. You're going to take this weird kind of rounded octagon icon with a relatively low quality picture and change it into this nice black border with the much higher picture quality if you are willing to start here it will save you a ton of time and that's what i've done all of these icons are just taken directly from this pack and it is a list of every single icon in the game don't forget the goals of this project are not to change the icons but to just make them look better in the game but more importantly it gives us a dump of every single icon the game features Features, and that makes it a lot easier to start editing. Now, all of that has been true since BFA when I started doing this, but the key difference that has changed my mind on making this video and is why exactly I'm making it now today is because originally these were added as BLP files. I don't fully understand this part. From now on, I'm really a layman, honestly. I've just gotten really good at taking other people's ideas and editing them to be exactly what I want out of them. But originally, all of these were BLP files and it was very hard for me to find a way
way to accurately edit the color maps of a BLP file. So originally we had to have multiple programs where we would take the BLP file and turn it into a PNG file, then edit it and then change it back into a BLP file and put it back in here. And of course the hard part was viewing the file as well. So I'd have to actually know what icon I was doing. So I'd be going to wowhead to view it, then I'd have to search it and then I'd have to, so it was a lot of steps. For whatever reason, all the updated images in this package that I've downloaded here are now .tga files, which is a file format that GIMP can actually use, which is a program I've used heavily for everything making thumbnails to making the Pokemon game. So I would heavily recommend that program, GIMP. That's what I'm gonna be showing you today, but I would imagine a lot of different programs can work with this file. Maybe you even find one that works with the old files as well. But just be aware, if you download previous versions of this type of package, you're gonna see some of these, like the clean icons was something that was basically uh, done many years ago and then new people came and made it even better and better and better. Like you see there was a bunch of them. You could have these icons be kind of different colored to make them look a lot more striking than they might do normally. And you see this hasn't been updated since 7.2.5. So if you download that right now, it's going to be the old file format. But I don't actually know if Blizzard changed something. I, I doubt it. I think that's probably just some evolution of how you can do this. I don't really know this part. So like I said, I have no, no insight into that. But all I know is if you download this, you will get files that GIMP can read. So now that you have a dump of every single file in the game, how do you make them blue, right? That's the question a lot of people seem to want to know. Well, guess what? That's even easier than all of this. So step one will be navigating to the icon you wish to change. As long as you have GIMP installed and you've already engaged it, this file should automatically open with GIMP. But even if it doesn't, you could just open GIMP and drag the file on top of it. So we're going to just double click that. GIMP will start up and we'll have the icon we're looking to edit. Now, again, if you're using this package, you should be aware that the black border is present on every single icon. So if you wish to make dramatic alterations to the color in one felt swoop, you should probably recognize that that black border is also part of the icon and it may make it look very weird. I have done that and the black border turns like brown or gray or something like that with what we're gonna do. So the way you solve that problem is simply by selecting everything but the black border. You can do that here with the rectangle select tool. The default keybind on GIMP is R. And then just make sure you actually have the borders correct. You can zoom in by holding control and the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And you'll see that I accidentally went to one, two pixel down. So we'll simply readjust that and make sure the borders are set and we're ready to go. So now we have everything on the inside of that black border selected. And all we have to do is go to colors and hue saturation. This is how I've done 90% of the coloration I've done on the icons I have in the game. But there is a little bit more advanced way that we could show you as well. But for now, if you simply want to change this icon into a different color, just select the master. It's going to select all the colors in the palette and then mess around with the hue. And it's as simple as that. We could change it to be any color in the rainbow, of course. And the thing is with the master selected, it will change the entire color map of the icon and everything will look a lot different when you zoom back out into the normal size. So you can find whatever you think looks best. And then it's as simple as just overriding the old image. It's already in the exact file structure you need. It's already the exact name you need. It's gonna save you a lot of steps. But of course, if you wanna do this on your own, you're gonna need to take the file from Wowhead. It should be named the correct thing already, but just in case you need to make sure the naming is not changed in any way. And then you need to put it in the folder yourself. I will also tell you that whenever you make an edit to one of these files, you need to completely log out of the game. You have to actually close the game and relaunch for the file to actually be read properly by the game. And maybe you wanna make a backup just in case, but if you're not making a ton of images and you're not making tons of changes to those images, then you probably aren't in that big of a state. Now I could also show you how to be a little bit more specific with what colors you're changing. So you might see here on this icon that there's basically some yellow around the eyes and the teeth. And maybe we wanna just try changing those. So you're gonna look for the actual yellow color here and click this box and you'll see we'll be able to change only the actual yellow. Now that, that doesn't work very good because the way GIMP rec recognizes yellow is it's only looking for that pure yellow. So not a lot of times you're gonna be able to get away with this. But you can see also the red slider is adjusting something somewhat similar and so maybe there'll be some iteration of some icon that you could change simply like that and it'll still look good enough and you'll be satisfied with that but i want to show you a few other things that might help you down the line make these decisions and choose what icons you want to choose to edit so if you're ever unsure of what the spell that you're looking for is you can simply go to the wowhead page type the name of the spell in and then in terms of the icon you'll see in the quick facts area so spell holy righteous fury and then you can copy paste that and put that in into the search field and it will open up the file with that name. Now this one's particularly interesting because it's probably one of the more notable icons I changed but I didn't actually change it myself. Blizzard 
has already made a blue icon to look like judgment but just not yellow for the spell or the talent judgment of the pure or something like that from a long time ago so what i did was i actually just copied that icon into the path for the yellow icon no additional changes need to be made there there's a few icons that are like that as well like things you might see elsewhere in the game that you just want to be your default icon i used to do this a lot with weak ores you can change the weak or icon to not be the default to just be whatever you want so i would make like a weak or for shield block on a warrior to just be a different shield icon because i really don't like the icon that shield block uses by default something else you should be aware of is there's actually a lot of spells that use the same icon but another thing you might also need to be aware of is that you change the icon in that file structure it's going to change every place that that icon's used and so you might only play a paladin you might see the holy shock spell is something you definitely wanted to change but then you start to realize wow a lot of other classes and spells actually use the same icons so it is a permanent change for every place that use the icon and the easiest way to find out if you're going to have any conflicts is by clicking on this on wowhead and then it'll show you a list of spells that actually use it, it may take you a while to keep going through but this one was particularly easy to solve because i see holy fire for priests as well on the list so that one i ultimately wasn't interested in changing so that's something to keep in mind and one other tool i want to show you about is this here it's called bigjpg.com and it's basically going to do what we talked about in the beginning here where we're going to upscale all these icons it's going to do that for you so if you ever get to a point where for some reason you're unable to find the icon upscaled or you know looking as good as the other icons in these packages and you want to keep doing this yourself you can simply take the icon from wowhead put it in here and you'll be able to upscale it as high as you want it's something to do with like ai I don't I don't really understand it's like convolutional neural networks is what everybody says I have no idea what that means all I know is it makes the image look a little nicer that's the other thing I, I feel like a lot of people in the game once the icon's small again you probably won't notice much changes you know especially if you don't change the color I've been using this since BFA and I genuinely think not a single comment has ever been made about the icons looking smoother or slightly different I could notice it when I'm sitting in front of the computer but maybe just because you know what you lose in stream quality people don't notice it i don't really know but i'm actually shocked i added it back when mechagon came out i used it all throughout bfa and all throughout shadowlands and i don't think i've ever had a single comment i'm like hey how did you make your icons look like that other than the color changes it's not very obvious i suppose so this will be up to you there is a million icons that you can change and a lot of things that you might not even be aware you can change like simply just changing the icons of actual armor as well like if you just don't really like what one of the pieces on your character's paper doll area it looks like you can simply just change the way that item looks and that's probably one that's a lot easier to do because it's very unlikely that blizzard will use the same icon for anything that might cross over like if you're changing armor icons you're only changing armor icons obviously there's not going to be a spell icon that looks like this so get after it explore i'd love to hear some comments about what you guys might end up changing if you do and i hope that this helped you on your journey even if it didn't i think it's an interesting topic you know the game is very customizable it's actually shocking how many things blizzard allows allows you to change and I think a lot of people just probably don't even know about a lot of this stuff so thank you for watching I will see you guys in the next one